My name is Ricardo Matlacas, and my background is in sculpture, painting, street art, performance art, and dance. Dance is what holds everything together and allows me to manifest in whichever form I want through art. And of course, as a multidisciplinary artist, I see the world in a very unique way. Uh, everything gives me inputs for my work. And for example, yes, I move as a dancer, I think as a philosopher, uh, and I trace as a painter, um, and I touch as a sculptor. So all these elements are very important to me, and I use all of them distinctively. Especially in my performance art, I am very much uh, informed from my past. Uh, I never said that, but uh, I had a very tough past where my mother was killed by a crazy guy when I was eight and I used to live in an area of drug dealers, very famous in all Italy, called Scampia. 167, 167, which was a very tough place uh, to grow in. So especially with my performance, but also with my painting and street art, um, I talk about topics such as uh, justice, social justice, uh, uh, immigration, uh, equality, uh, no border world and uh, human growth and development. This is all uh, very important in my activity as an artist. Uh, I'm a, a tool for social change and because of um, a very lonely uh, childhood um, I think this really made me very sensitive about certain topics and made me question human nature very early in days I have uh, many many influences in my work uh, as a painter my first loves was uh, the, the art, the mural art, the muralism in Mexico, but also African art. Um, and uh, later on, I was very interested in American art in 1900. So my paintings are quite fresh and very clean and graphic. In my performances, I'm very, very influenced by Joseph Beuys and his way of thinking. One of my biggest love is uh, Stellark. And one of my fun um, performance artists I used to look at was Bruce Nauman. But the list can be infinite. There are loads of artists that I was inspired, like starting from the Dadaism. And before that, many other forms of art inspired me. I'd say I summarized through my work all the history of art, bringing it to the contemporary realm. Um, lately I'm working a lot in border towns where I create uh, uh, different actions, happenings. Uh, one in particular is called Melting Borders where I built a helmet that uh, holds five ice creams and the ice cream have the color of both the flags from uh, two parts of the borders. So I did perform that at the DMZ area in between South and North Korea and the ice cream had the color of the South Korean and North Korean flag and these two flags were melting over my white shirt. Then I created an abstract flag on, on my uh, white shirt, an abstract painting made with ice cream, which I call the sweet flag. I now collected over 12 uh, different sweet flags through this performance because everywhere I go, especially in border towns or capital, capitals, um, I perform melting borders. But I also focus a lot in uh, street art. I'm creating a lot of uh, tiny pieces of ceramic, abstract ceramic, and I like people to imagine what they are. And they are really cute. They just in corners of every city I go. For now, so far, I put uh, many, many in London and uh, Mexico, Morocco, and now in uh, New York, where I'm staying for a while in a residency program. 
One of my biggest actions uh, was in Ukraine in 2018. I dressed a big tank of the Second World War uh, with a pyjama and I called this action pyjama party. And this action was particularly difficult and I, and I really had a strong vision to do it because I wanted to say that we all want the world to sleep and peace to be awakened. And, and uh, I, I called it pyjama party because I thought the only party, political party we need, it's uh, a political party that go to sleep. So imagine all these politicians with the pyjama, uh, they do a little party and go to sleep. But also uh, dressing this uh, tank with the pyjama is saying to, you know, like transform this big uh, war machine into a very soft monster. One of the biggest challenges of being an artist is, of course, the financial side. Uh, unfortunately, art has always been seen as sometimes can be free or, uh, you know, you can do that. For the artists are very much uh, exploited, but uh, things are slowly changing. Also, uh, fundings are not really working uh, as they should. Uh, they do not really a mirror uh, what a really a real artist need they they are good for people who's good at writing application forms so fundings they don't know how to choose the right artist in my opinion and uh, sometimes uh, the a challenge could be also a, a creative block but uh, the, the creative block sometimes is needed in order uh, to step forward into a new realm of work, into a new dimension, into a new reality, because art has to be refreshed, even your own art, and uh, your eyes also have to be refreshed, your inputs have to be refreshed, everything has to be looked as a new. Being an artist is a little bit like being a scientist. There is a lot of discoveries going on and it's very important to be faithful and honest with your research. And yes, I do listen to music when I work, uh, when I usually paint. I need music. Uh, rarely I have silence. Uh, I use silence in uh, particular aspects of my work, but usually I play music, all different kinds of music. I love it and uh, it's one of my biggest uh, loves you know, to, to, to listen to sound. And work sometimes in a, is a, also an excuse to listen to music all day. What do I want people to take away from my work what, what it's, there is not really a hope but what I notice is that people is open up when they see my work they open up so their creativity they see that there are possibilities out there that they could explore themselves and I like that I feel a little bit like I'm a gate opener for people to realize that they have a capability that goes beyond what they usually see and now in May and June, I will perform here in New York. Uh, I'll have also open studios where I'm staying. Um, and uh, yes, I will be performing Melting Borders uh, in New York City as well. And my website is www.matlakas.co.uk and my Instagram is Riccardo, R-I-C-C-A-R-D-O underscore Matlacas, M-A-T-L-A-K-A-S.